dear friends good evening uh, today i would like to do transit analysis for uh, all the moon science ascendants so let us uh, start with uh, aries so for aries uh, the the key planets being jupiter saturn rahu ketu and uh, the sign lord mars so people who are running jupiter mahadasha saturn mahadasha rahu mahadasha ketu mahadasha they see significant long lasting results during this point of time so coming to jupiter jupiter is uh, favorably positioned for uh, aries moon sign aries ascendant people uh, being in 11th so jupiter promises uh, happiness uh, realization of gains fulfillment of uh, one's desires and uh, relationship with uh, bigger network friends elder elder siblings this will revive and uh, these people they become more socializing during this time when jupiter is in uh, 11th house so rahu rahu is in second house so on the positive side of it uh, it is a very good position uh, because uh, second house is a house of uh, money resources and bank balance so it's a kind of uh, this is a time for people who have prominent rahu in their birth chart not all chart uh, they see a uh, lot of money uh, coming in their account they make lot of money in the sense and uh, they do invest and uh, they do they earn money through negotiation um, partnering with uh, their partners business partners and uh, at the same time uh, rahu is a malfic planet so their expenditure is on par with their uh, income they make lot of money and they spend lot of money so it is likely that you know they invest in some land or property during this point of time on the negative side of it rahu in second house uh, can disturb their uh, happiness peace at home they may not uh, their family may not be uh, having a peaceful environment because of uh, rahu's position because ketu also aspects this and because of speech these people may get into uh, some controversies uh, so it is always uh, recommended to think twice before you speak out when rahu is in your second house and also food intake they have to be very careful uh, like where rahu basically uh, is in dustana in their natal chart and rahu is not a benefic planet these people they have to be very careful in terms of uh, taking their uh, food especially during these times of corona um, to to keep all the infections away they need to have healthy food and uh, healthy food habits also they need to maintain so coming to saturn so saturn in 10th uh, house uh, is very strong in his own house so one of the prominent yoga sesi mahapurush yoga actually is formed because of uh, this this position saturn position in capricorn so i can say this is a far better time than how it was few months back because this uh, saturn jupiter conjunction it already broke and it's a big relaxation for these people so these people uh, they they might face some kind of uh, harassment turbulence in their career work and issues with their boss managers now they will lead a very smooth and uh, promising career so this is the time for these people uh, to look for look forward to a uh, change of business or uh, career so also the position of mars because mars changes sign in every 45 days so because mars is a, their sign lord so it is important that you know when they these people aries ascendants or moon sign people when they need to make important decisions so they need to ensure that the mars is in good position so mars usually works extremely well in the third house sixth house eleventh house and also on ascendant because for them mars is ascendant lord so this is about uh, aries people and for uh, taurus uh, this is i can definitely say this is a a better situation uh, jupiter is in 
tenth house and Saturn is in their ninth house and Rahu Rahu is in their ascendant and moon sign. So this this is a this poses a bit challenge a, a bit challenges uh, because Rahu in uh, moon sign basically makes the person um, exhausted, tired, and uh, they are not sure of uh, direction and uh, they have a lot of uncertainty, fear about the future because of uh, Rahu sitting in their uh, ascendant. Uh, on the positive side of it, because Rahu brings uh, material development, so these people have a lot of desire um, to possess, acquire, and material things like money properties and uh, they are worried, they are actually very passionate about building their future plan their future because uh, rahu is a desirous planet so ketu in seventh house so this position may not be good for uh, people who are in uh, relationships because seventh house ketu can break relationship can bring uh, issues in uh, relationship so people who are already married so newly married so this is a kind of a challenging situation so they need to handle the situation with care and caution uh, because uh, seventh house ketu so ketu wherever wherever ketu is positioned ketu actually is a significant is a significator for past so the events in their past they still haunt them so these people are worried uh, during because of uh, ketu in uh, seventh house and also their partner, their spouse health may not be good during this time, they need to take care. They may undergo a lot of stress, uh, blood circulation issues or they may prone to this kind of uh, viral infections. So Taras people, their first focus is on their health. And uh, regarding career, they see a slow improvement in career. Uh, even though Jupiter is in 10th house, which is a good sign, but still Saturn is in 9th house because 9th house is a house of change and uh, it is a house of fortune also because Saturn is in 9th house so it's a kind of a testing time for them it takes some time for them to basically enjoy the fruits of their efforts so wait for uh, some point of time when Jupiter transits uh, uh, Pisces which is when uh, September so things will be more promising during that time so people who are having legal hurdles so this is the time, this is a basically a favorable time because ninth house is a house of law and justice. So Saturn is in one house. So definitely the court hearing will be in these people's favor. So for Taurus people, this is one plus point. And for uh, Gemini, for Gemini ascendant, Gemini moon sign people, uh, they actually entered a safe zone. So for the last three and a half to four years, their life has been uh, hell kind of uh, situation for uh, Gemini ascendant and moon sign people. Now uh, things actually slowly started working for them because uh, Jupiter actually moved to ninth house from uh, their 8th uh, house and uh, Saturn still still Saturn in 8th house is troublesome so but they don't they don't need to worry about that. Uh, they need to be careful when they when they partner with others when they maintain uh, joint assets others money these people have to be very careful otherwise uh, uh, Saturn is okay uh, because uh, Jupiter is actually strong for them and aspecting their sign moon sign which is a good sign so these people actually they develop their thought process so their mind actually starts uh, understanding grasping things because of uh, this Jupiter aspect they basically capture this divine knowledge and try to understand what was missing and try to realize what mistake they, they did and because of which they are actually facing the consequences and uh, they take a step back and uh, reassess their plans. Uh, so this is basically a very good time if they channelize this Jupiter energy. So coming to Rahu, Rahu is in uh, 12th house for them. Of course Ketu is in uh, 6th house which is, uh, uh, which is said to be good. Ketu works well in 6th house but uh, they may have trouble with their enemies, hidden enemies. Uh, the 12th house Rahu coming to 12th house Rahu so they, these people they need to they need to take care of their health also because 12th house is a house of uh, treatments hospitals rehabilitation centers so Rahu in 12th house so if they if they don't have prominent uh, uh, Rahu in their natural chart if Rahu is not a benefit so these people 
may face, uh, may go through some kind of uh, medical treatment. They may use steroids during that time to cure any kind of uh, disease or health issue. So Mercury as a is a is a vital planet for these people because Mercury being a sign lord, ascendant lord. So wherever, whenever Mercury is in uh, good position, auspicious position in uh, transit, so that's when these people actually they have to take important decisions. So coming to career for uh, uh, Gemini people, the Jupiter is in uh, ninth house. So there is, it, it indicates so uh, change of career. One thing, the other thing is progression in career, recognition in career. Uh, yes, of course, the eighth house Saturn is still there. So they need to remediate Saturn. So perform some kind of uh, remedy to basically please Saturn so that uh, uh, the malfic nature of Saturn can be suppressed. And for cancer, uh, this is a kind of a bit tough situation for them because uh, they have Saturn in 7th house, they have Jupiter in 8th house. So they may face uh, multiple challenges uh, in different aspects of life. So the health of spouse may not be good and the relationship also may not, may not be smooth. They may, they may face some issues misunderstandings, conflicts in their relationships uh, and also with their business partners if they are into business because Saturn is 7th house. So 8th house, Jupiter. So people try to accuse, make uh, try to make some complaints uh, against these people. So they need, these people need to be careful. So 8th house Jupiter actually produces uh, this uh, Guru Dosha also. So they need to basically remediate uh, Jupiter so perform Abhishek of her Ishwara so because Jupiter is a natural uh, Dhanakarka is in uh, sitting in 8th house so this is not good time for them in terms of uh, wealth uh, some there could be some good news in terms of uh, uh, realizing some inherited properties during this time because Jupiter is in 8th house uh, but Saturn in 7th house aspects there uh, ascendant or moon sign it causes uh, some kind of mental agony depression or fear so these people also have to take care of their health uh, during this corona time so they need to have proper diet and uh, need to consult doctor if required so ketu coming to ketu so ketu and rahu so Rahu is very well positioned for them. This is the only bene beneficial planet to this point of time for cancer people. So Rahu in 11th house is good for material gains. So their investments may give very good returns for them. That is one thing. And uh, they, they, they are more socializing now. They talk to a lot of people. And they see some development in terms of uh, in their elder siblings life. And their relationship with their elder siblings also will be good. And uh, Ketu in 5th house, so Ketu in 5th house, so, uh, these people uh, explore spiritual side of life and they introspect and also try to explore astrology, mysticism and they develop uh, interest towards so speculation, gambling uh, because of Ketu being in 5th house. Because 5th house is also Buddhistana, so they develop some kind of uh, Tamaguna nature, sorry, igno ignorance in their thoughts and mind. So they need to always uh, engage in uh, some uh, good work and do meditation. That basically this will help them heal from this kind of uh, negative thoughts that is coming from 5th house uh, Ketu and 7th uh, house Saturn that aspect their uh, moon sign or ascendant. For Leo, yes, this is a good time because uh, Jupiter actually moved to their 7th house from 6th house. So Jupiter aspects their uh, moon sign Leo ascendant uh, which is a good lot of positivity lot of uh, motivation lot of divine guidance this is the time these people actually connect to higher uh, higher divine people like gurus teachers and to take their guidance uh, and become successful uh, Saturn of course in sixth house it is a very good recognition at, at service and uh, this is good time for people who are unemployed this is a time to grab as many offers as possible, opportunities as possible, opportunities knock your door. So we just need to channelize this energy. And uh, coming to Ketu, 
So Ketu is in fourth house. So you may see these people may see their family members may be suffering from some kind of illness or their pets having some health issues and uh, the health of mother may not be satisfactory during this time because of uh, Ketu in fourth house and these people they need to be careful when they go for long drives so they need to go with uh, care and caution and uh, coming to students this is a bit tough time because fourth house Ketu may break their education they like students having primary education and uh, so they need to put extra effort that is another thing so Rahu is, is well positioned Rahu is in 10th uh, house and uh, which is uh, well positioned uh, this is the time uh, you get uh, name fame uh, in your career so overall uh, like uh, for Leo it is actually a promising time for Virgo Virgo moon sign Virgo ascendants Jupiter moved to their 6th house so 6th house is a house of death diseases deaths diseases and enemies so wherever even Jupiter the, the beauty of Jupiter is even though Jupiter is in Dustana Jupiter always tries to suppress the negative energies of that particular Dustana house but still Jupiter becomes Karka for that particular house be, being an occupant so 6th house Jupiter uh, may try to irritate them uh, with uh, some kind of uh, frustrations that arise because of uh, enemies or uh, sickness. So this is the time they need to take care of their health because uh, the divine doctor Jupiter actually is uh, actually moved to uh, their house of health. So Jupiter ex examines and basically cleanses them. So this is the time you guys, like people, Virgo ascendant, Virgo moon sign people, go and give your tests, keep a tab on, on your health, get your complete examination done and take necessary precautions. This is how Jupiter is going to help. And also 6th of Jupiter, uh, a person who has 6th of Jupiter, like he becomes Ajata Shetru, he doesn't have any enemies. So these people always try to maintain a cordial relationship with people who are actually against of them, who are enemies to them. So these people try to negotiate and try to go calm and try to handle them with a calm and a soft approach. So this is actually a good thing, Jupiter in 6th house in one way. So coming to debt. So Jupiter in 6th house, so if you seek for any help, there are a lot of opportunities, resources to help you. So you can easily raise debt when Jupiter is in 6th house. So sometimes, you know, when Jupiter is in 6th house, usually people, they may commit debt, a good debt, maybe purchasing home, purchasing a, you know, some vehicle. So coming to Saturn, so Saturn is in 5th house, so this is a kind of, uh, uh, Saturn becomes 5th uh, uh, and 6th uh, lord for Virgo ascendant and moon sign people, so Saturn is in own house in 5th house, so these people are actually, they are very stubborn in their thoughts, that is one thing. And a lot of uh, pessimism they develop in their mind. So they need to stay away from pessimism and develop positivity. They have to do meditation actually. Fifth house Saturn, because fifth, fifth house is house of Upasana, worship. So Saturn is a planet, is the only planet that could give highest level of concentration. So this time if they can channel this energy, so they can do pranayama, meditation, yoga. Uh, because there are lot many bad evil thoughts haunt their mind during this time and Saturn is in fifth house. So th these people actually need to stay away from corrupt people who try to infect them. This is another thing. And coming to Ketu. So for Virgo, Ketu is in uh, Ketu is well positioned. Is the third house. The third house is house of communication, internet, publishing, writing. So. The, these people they become more socializing during this time so their younger siblings actually they'll be limelight during this time because the third house represents younger siblings so coming to Rahu Rahu is in ninth house so Rahu in ninth house may bring some illness to the to father so they need to take care of their father cells during this time 
this is one thing uh, the other thing is uh, this is good time for people who want to pursue higher education they want to go for higher studies because rahu will help them and uh, for uh, investments also this is a kind of uh, uh, a prominent uh, position for them if rahu is a benefit in their chart so for uh, uh, tula libra moon sign and ascendant people uh, they have jupiter in uh, fifth house and the saturn in fourth house and they have rahu in eighth house and uh, ketu in second house so rahu in eighth house is definitely a trouble sometime for them because uh, they develop a lot of uh, fear during this time they are they are not sure of uh, there is a lot of uncertainty about their future that's how you know their thoughts are and uh, sudden changes quick changes quick transformations may happen during this time when rahu transits their eighth house uh, because rahu is in uh, the sign lord's house uh, there is actually friendship between rahu and venus so these people they try to indulge into some kind of uh, addictions habits and uh, they need to keep actually control uh, of these things now uh, ketu in second house so they may not find peace in their family in the domestic life because of ketu in second house and also they try to it's very hard temp, hard for them to save money because because of ketu is in second position and also they may develop some kind of infections uh, because of their uh, diet habits they need to take good good diet and uh, saturn in fourth house basically produces adhastama uh, shani so these people uh, already have been passing through this uh, this challenge so basically the adhastam shani is uh, more troublesome for students who are doing their primary education so saturn may delay or break their education that is one thing the other thing is uh, saturn in fourth house also indicates that it's a kind of uh, a long uh, treatment recovery of uh, mother that is one thing the other thing is uh, they find uh, they, they they experience a uh, lot of burden with their with the debts they committed in the past maybe it is because of purchasing land or you know construction of property so they 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 are actually desperate to get rid of come out of uh, this this kind of debts so jupiter in fifth house is good because jupiter with the ninth aspect aspects their sign this is a one very good uh, position for them jupiter is the only benefit at this point of time for uh, libra people for tula tula rashi bonds so jupiter aspects their sign so it it gives lot of positivity motivation divine guidance if they channel this energy this is one thing the fifth house jupiter this is the time jupiter basically enlightens the children thought process and uh, they may go through some kind of uh, in investments informed investments so this is the time these people may gain through speculation and coming to scorpions for scorpion moon sign scorpion ascendant so they have this kal sarp yoga so rahu in 7th house and ketu in their ascendant so it's a trouble sometime for people who are into relationship not at married and who are just newly married so this is kind of testing time for for the for a couple who are married or who are in relationship so they may break their relationship or marriage if they do if they fail to control this energy this is one thing the other thing is so the health of spouse may not be good during this time because rahu in 7th house uh, can cause trouble to spouse uh, they may, they often get into fights disputes with their partners with the business partner or spouse so they need to basically remediate rahu and ketu to suppress the negative impact of this kal sarp dosha which is actually forming on their ascendant and moon sign coming to saturn saturn is very very well positioned in third house so recognition at service so people who are unemployed like they find abundant opportunities in the marketplace they actually leverage this time and they have jupiter in fourth house so fourth house jupiter this is the time they try to build a peace and uh, cool environment at their home this is the time they may purchase properties and uh, they may they may live in a new home uh, and uh, 
their relationship with their mother will be good during this time and the mother will be kind of helpful for them during this time mother or mother side relationships and people who are in education so like for students this is a good time uh, to secure good marks for sagittarius uh, they have saturn in second house like they have this long sadesati running for another one year and this is almost uh, end of sadesati i can say so saturn may not be that uh, problematic for these people uh, because saturn is in own house so these people financially actually they do well they maintain good bank balance that is one thing if saturn is a benefit in their chart and uh, also saturn basically in the second house being a marka house saturn uh, second house so these people take care of their health so they they take some precautions like prevention is better than cure you know before something gets worse you know they take some kind of guidance from doctor and uh, take it uh, take some kind of uh, medication to get rid of uh, health issues severe health issues this is one thing uh, they have rahu in very very well position which is rahu in 6th house they can fight against uh, deaths diseases enemies during this point of time their immunity levels are very good even though they fall sick they don't need to worry for sagittarius people uh, ketu in 12th house yes this this is a kind of uh, a challenging time but this time if they become more spiritual and do charity have empathy for unemployed and unprivileged people so that basically blesses them with ketu energy and this is the time these people can actually worship lord ganesha to remedy to ketu and these people may have health issues because of 12th, uh, 12th house uh, ketu in scorpio uh, they may face uh, issues related to blood blood circulation blood clots uh, anxiety depression uh, so these people still they need to uh, take care of uh, uh, their health rahu is well positioned uh, and uh, coming to jupiter so jupiter is in their uh, third house so third house is a house of uh, communication so this is the time you people uh, connect to higher divine and uh, communicate the knowledge with other people and this is the time for uh, for you people to write a book publish and become uh, more socializing this will help you so this is overall about sagittarius for capricorn ascendant for capricorn moon people uh, moon sign people uh, they have saturn in their uh, sign ascendant very strong which produces uh, sesi mahapurusha yoga and they have jupiter in second ha- second house so jupiter is being a dhanakaraka uh, occupying dhanasthana so they see lot of opportunities resources in terms of making wealth during this point of time but saturn in uh, ascendant actually makes them more pessimistic isolated and they feel being alone even though they are with their friends and family still they feel alone they try to disconnect from the external world and they try to live in a shell this is the time but these people has to come out because jupiter in second house can help them because second house is house of speech so rahu in uh, fifth house so these people may develop uh, some kind of uh, tendencies uh, for towards speculation gambling and the positive side of it is investments stock market investments this is a prominent time and doing something creatively and bring some kind of development in the their children in their children's life fifth house rahu can also develop some kind of fear because fifth house is house of buddhi so they may develop some kind of nightmares bad dreams during their during this point of time but ketu ketu is in 11th house so this is this actually helps them uh, to connect to bigger network circle and communicate talk to larger audience become more socializing so for uh, aquarius jupiter in their sign so in their ascendant is very strong um, and it aspects so gemini their 5th house and uh, leo their 7th house their uh, scorpio their line ninth house so these houses are protected with jupiter's aspect that is one thing the other thing is jupiter being in ascendant or moon sign it gives lot of optimism positivity and their relationships revive and they have smooth terms with their spot 
spouse or partners during this point of time. So these people will succeed in their business ventures because Jupiter aspects their 5th house and 7th house and also 9th house. And uh, this is a good time for students to pursue higher education. And for people who are looking for a job, job change, so still because they, are, they, they have that the study city operating and Jupiter in their ascendant, they may find some kind of hurdles, delays uh, in terms of uh, finding, changing job or sustaining in the current job. It is important for them to remediate Saturn at least once. So the study city period actually it spans seven and a half years because they are they just started. Uh, for them, the study city just kicked off, uh, I think, a couple of years back. So they are going through the first phase of study city. So it is always advisable to remediate Saturn for good results in terms of getting a job, changing job and surviving the current job. So Saturn becomes their ascendant and 12th rod being in 12th house. So these people also they have to take extra care about their health to make sure they are not prone to the infections especially during corona days. So coming to Ketu, so Ketu is in ninth house, house of higher learning, gurus. So these people, this is the time these people actually turn more spiritual, turn out to be more spiritual and if they explore the spiritual side of life, so it will act as a, a lot of positivity for them and drive them. Of, of course, they have already Jupiter in, uh, in their uh, ascendant, moon sign aspect in Ketu, which is again a good thing for them to explore uh, the spiritual side of life. And uh, for Pisces, uh, yes, Jupiter actually moved to their 12th house. Earlier it was in uh, 11th house. So, and they have Saturn in 11th house. So, Saturn is Raja Okarka in 11th house. So, a lot of these people see some kind of happiness in their family and uh, growth and development in their career. And uh, they see monitor gains and they may acquire. Uh, purchase properties, vehicles during this point of time. Of course, uh, Jupiter is in uh, 12th house, so this is the time actually these people have to give away because it's a Aquarius sign co-ruled by Rahu, a natural 11th house. That natural 11th house has become 12th house for them, so this is the time these people have to do some kind of charity because in the next one year they are striking this uh, Sade Sati. So for them, uh, the Ketu, Ketu is in uh, Ninth house, so ninth house is again house of uh, higher learning, spirituality, father. So also Jupiter actually, no Jupiter may not may not aspect to uh, uh, Ketu. So Ketu is in ninth house and uh, Jupiter is in their twelfth house. So Rahu in their third house, so which is a uh, very good for them. So through effort, communication, initiation, these people will be able to achieve anything. Either it could be a business venture or it could be a job, service. This is the time these people actually have double kind of benefit in terms of promotions, getting perks, bonus, getting multiple offers. Because they have third house Rahu and at the same time they have 11th house Saturn. This is a very good for material gains. And also through stock market speculation also these people may gain if they channelize this energy properly but again they need to take care of their health because Jupiter is in the 12th house so friends this is my analysis about 2021-22 transit results for from Aries to Pisces moon sign and ascendants if you like the video please click on the like button and also subscribe to my video thank you very much